when I was in the metro, I'm used to people getting in, asking for money, you know. And then there's others that get in and actually offer you something for that money, right? Mostly it's either they're singing or they're doing some sort of act. You know, they're entertaining you. Some of them are rapping. You know, this is very... This is very common. They get in the metro, they're rapping, they're improvising on shit that they're seeing. So, you know, it's pretty cool. I like it, you know. Today, though, I saw, the, you know, this motherfuckers went to the next level. A fucking mariachi band got in the metro. You know, they were hustling, grinding, you know, playing for the, for the sense. But I just, I was like, what? I mean... I'm going to show the video, right? Because I actually, I had to record this shit. You know, a little spy, a little, you know, North Korea spy. Because I didn't want to, I not want to make them feel uncomfortable that I'm filming them. But I didn't need, I, when I was looking at this shit, I'm like, I need to get footage of this so that I can show the broski doodles so they can know I'm not fucking lying. Because some motherfuckers might be out there saying, yo, Kiko, your stories, I don't know if they're real, dog. You talk a lot of shit, you talk the empire of shit, you talk the house of shit. Sometimes I don't even know if what you're saying is a reality. And, and I get that. I get that. Some of these stories are just so great that I can understand why you might think they're not real. I would think so as, as well myself. But I took footage of this shit because I was like, fuck that. I'm going to show these motherfuckers what's good. I'm going to let them know the realness. Mariachi man. If you have ever had a mariachi band come to your house, and this is very common in the Latin community, every Latino has had a fucking quinceanera or some, you know, anniversary where they bring mariachis. The mariachi instruments are huge. They're fucking huge. You, you think of a guitar back there that you can... There? Here? What up? Let me... What the fuck, man? Here. This is my guitar. And this guitar, you know, it has some thickness because it has to have a resonating box where the chords transmit their vibration and it creates a note. So, yes, it has a little space there. But if you look at a fucking mariachi guitar, they're huge. They have a lot of inside space. They're fucking big inside a metro. It's a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to say it was a full-on mariachi band. And I'm going to show the video so I cannot really tell, tell this bitch. There were two. Two of them, it wasn't a full-on fucking mariachi band. But two of them is already too much. Because the instruments are huge. Did I enjoy it? Well, you're going to hear this shit. I mean, this guy's got it. I mean, they know what the... You know, they're fucking real authentic mariachis. However, I just thought it was a bit brazy to do that. I thought it was a bit like, yo... You going, you going big? Like, it almost felt like that morning... One of the mariachis told the other mariachi, like, hey, wait, you know, man, I'm really tired of doing this, man. You know, we play out, you know, like we're always out there, you know, we put our advertisement, but nobody calls us to play in their weddings, man. So I, I don't want to do this mariachi no more. And the other guy says, Ese, you can't think like that, man. I understand that at the moment, you don't feel like we could be the mariachis. But how about instead of we waiting for the money to come to us? We get the money, man, and we go to the metro and we bring them the mariachi to them. It's like like if Pixar made Coco, but even more authentic, it would be about these two guys, you know, like hustling their way in the mariachi world. And they're in the fucking metro like, man, are we really going to play mariachi in the metro like that? And the other's like, but wait, I'm telling you, man, we're going to be so... And they fucking, today was the first day they went in the metro and they were like, dog, we're going to make a career out of this bitch. Bring your big ass guitar with the big ass center. I'll bring my other whatever instrument and we're gonna sing the fucking rancheras and we're gonna make this shit fucking pop. And I'm gonna be honest with you, <clears throat> they were a bit popping. You're gonna see the video. I mean, I'm not even gonna, uh, you're gonna see the video. One thing that is funny though, and this out, oh, this will be on the video as well. At the beginning, what happens is at every stop, sometimes there might be security guards from the on the metro and it's illegal right to be singing for money on the metro so if they catch you pretty much what they tell you is like yo get the fuck out of here right but you know they don't want to they don't want their their gig to be fucking interrupted so they were gonna start playing they started a little bit then the next station came and there were some guards so they stopped playing and if you stop playing you're essentially just in the metro carrying your instrument so you're not really doing anything illegal so they were like all right 
I, we, they, we can't do nothing. Then the doors closed, the train ran, and then they started again. Dun, 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 So that's the mariachi in the Metro story. I really felt like I needed to, you know, to let you guys know about this. 